Hello and welcome back to this Trails in the Sky second chapter let's play with me SLJ RPG. In the last episode we saw Joshua for the first time who managed to hook himself onto that red ship of the Orboros Society and we also discovered that we're getting a bit of a surprise from Miss Maybell and getting some rest of vacation time but we finished up some other um, brace of business but I think without any further ado let's make our way down to Valeria Lake. It seems like the only option we had to have ahead of us so i will come back and see you once we once we are there so here we are at valeria shore let us see what is about for us there is obviously going to be a fishing spot for us can we speak to this guy finally back with all the danger cleared up time to relax and rest my life. i can't stop fishing I keep doing it if it even had pawn my own wife where is the fishing spots here this doesn't appear to be I've not been checking out fish fishing spots. There was, of course, that last mission back in Relent, which was very fishing wand heavy. Ooh. Bet I could fish here. Oh, we can use anything. Let's use a carp. We've got a lot of this. Not that, not that good of a, uh, of a judge. Gone home handling fishing. I suspect that the these guys that they're um. And here is the rest of them. What? Uh, I suspect the the base for Oboros is in the middle of the lake. Anyway, Kevin, what are you doing here? Oh, it's been a long and harrowing story. We happened to run into him on the road, so we invited him to join us. On the road? Where are you traveling again, Kevin? To be honest, my goal is to investigate the Emerald Tower. After all, said goodbyes and roll it, I've been running around looking in all of them. All of them? Have you visited the other towers, Father Graham? Yes, I've been busy with that, pretty much. But that's why I'm kind of AWOL during the whole dragon business. Sorry, I couldn't give a hand with that. I figured you guys might come here for a break, so, uh, that makes sense. Then, should we have a sit down right now? How's it? How about we do it over dinner? That'll help uh, information flow freely, you know? Oh yeah, uh, so you're staying here, Kevin? Well, well from what I hear, this is a pretty famous inn, right? Like your friend said, I figured I'd join the facilities, if you don't mind. That's kind of uh, out of the blue. You helped us a lot, though. What do you think, guys? I ain't got no problem with it. It is a nice way to settle our debt to the good father. I want him to stay, too. I see no reason to object. I wonder it's the faith that's bringing us together. Well, if he's here, I'll have some fun. Thank you. I ain't too much in the way of thanks, but if uh, you got some stuff that he's doing, I'll happily tag along. Use me as much as you need. Party time. Well, thanks for the offer, but I'm about to drop off things and relax. Oh, really? Darn it. I, I was thinking I could give my, my body to Estelle's cause. If you want to sacrifice your body, trust me, there are ways to arrange that. <laughs> Should we get checked in, then? Thank you so much for choosing to stay at the Kingfisher Inn. Allow me to do your rooms. Yes, please do. This room we have set aside for the ladies. Wow, this is lovely. It feels peaceful too. So when we used we used last time we stayed here, right? We ended up having to sneak into the bandit base that didn't really and didn't really get into enjoy it much. I know you can spend a bit more time in it this time. Last time I did get to spend one night in a comfortable bed here. The way I remember it, she ought to drink you under the table and laid you out like a sack for garbage. Very true. This time I'll be able to drink to my heart's content. This room we had set aside for the gentleman, but I'm sorry, there must be some confusion. You may use the room next door for the men as well. It's alright, I kinda jumped on this train with the last second. You guys pick rooms and I'll roll with it. How about it? I have no preference. I don't care much either way. Well then, I shall share the room with Agate. Wait a second. What's with the sun designer bunk with me? It's not so obvious, Agate. A raven with clipped winds, mended by a tender young hearted girl. I'd it would be a failure of a bad if I did not hear every detail of that encounter also. Huh? What? Try not to murder him, okay? <laughs> Although it's not curious as to how that went down myself. We talked, is all. That doesn't make us any interested in hearing about it. More so, in fact. Perhaps we should hear the whole story before calling it a night. Hmm. 
Come on now, you two. Don't tease Tita so much. I feel bad for her. Regardless, I would ask Zin and Kevin to share the other room. I have no problem with that. Hey, I'm not one to stand in the way of good times, look sure. Allow me to show you your room. No, hold on, we're not done with the conversation. Hey! <laughs> that is quite funny. Sounds like things got a uh, kind of crazy. So there really was an ancient dragon nest in the Liberal, and it warned about the aerial before flying off her. Uh... Yes, makes my head spin think about everything that's happened. What I really don't get is why Ragnar would couldn't tell us anything about the area all either. Actually, there's a line in the testaments this reminds me of. And the goddess, having bequeathed her treasures, sent forth holy beasts to observe the path of children of men would take. A holy beast? That certainly does seem like Ragnar. More penny to the point, I feel is the command to observe than simply watch over us, and we're commanded not to interfere. No to help, that is. Well, one way or another. Well, one way or another, I'm sure this thing makes it look like the areola exists. Think we can even start to price things together, thinking about what I found poking around. Right, you were investigating the towers. Did you find anything out? Yeah, a bit. I think you guys are familiar with those weird machines on top of each other, right? Did you know they're currently glowing? Yeah, I remember seeing that one was all lit up. I don't even get what that has to do with the areola, though. Well, Ketchum Swartz mentioned something to me. Something weird happened in the room where you fought Alan Richard just before that mechanical monster showed up, right? Oh yeah, I do remember. The cusp was used, all the lights in the ruins went out. Then there was a voice out of nowhere giving a warning and the pillars sunk into the floor. The warning about the first barrier no longer being operative and the device towers being enabled, as I recall. Yeah, that's what I heard. So on a hunch, I double-checked the timing with some witnesses. Those four towers started lining up and stuff at the same time the gospel was used. You're kidding. So the device from the towers, the warning, the warning mentioned are the four towers of the liberal and the machines as their peaks. I don't get any over-explanation, at least. So to sum it up, then. The ruins beneath Grand Sarcasa are what produces this first barrier. However, the Colonel Richard used the gospel and this barrier was eliminated. And in this place, the device tower was reactivated, presumably to produce a second barrier of some sort. A second barrier? Why would you? It's gonna protect something. You always want to make sure you have a backup. It doesn't answer the questions of what kind of barrier it is, or what the hell it is. What it is a barrier for, though. About that, I'm starting to think it's something to hide the location of the area. Right, the area wasn't in the castle ruins. Then it's supposed to be somewhere in the Liberal, right? Exactly. And if we assume the side is goal is to obtain the area, then I think we can say we can say their experiments are part of the plan to further that goal. Now you need to do that just to the experiments that cost us the area. It seems like we're more tightly interwoven than we first believed. And the one sitting at the loom would be this man called the Professor. Yeah, it's all him. The same guy who put the gospel on Ragnar's head and made him attack bows, and the one who Estelle? What's up, Estelle? You got awfully quiet all of a sudden. About this professor, I think he's the one that made Joshua leave in the first place. What? Wait a moment. You mean he's the one who orchestrated the events that brought Joshua into your home, and then made had him leave the way he did? I think so. And I bet he's the one who manipulated Colonel Richard and Kurt's memories. You're kidding. We do not have an explanation for Kurt's memories, it is true. Why do you think this is? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, you see... that happened? This is the other thing you're trying to shoulder yourself or This is another thing you've been trying to shoulder yourself or something? Not exactly, but sorry, I guess it's kind of late to bring it up now. I don't think there can be any doubt at this point, though. Safe to say this person must be the one responsible for all our trouble. He certainly is a man of twisted morals. Yes, we'll need to be careful. Sorry, Tita. I didn't mean to bring up all this serious junk when you came here to relax. It's okay. I just was wondering why someone would do things like this. Make everyone so unhappy, make Joshua suffer. I just don't get it. Tito, don't worry about trying to understand a weirdo like that, okay? You just need to worry about Tita. Right, Agade? What the hell do you keep jerking me into these conversations? <laughs> and I laughed there from Clay. I think we needed that, I think. Mm. Kevin? Oh, no. So how's about we calling enough information swapping for one day? It'd be a crime to let all this wonderful food go to waste. Can't say no to that. Let us have a debate aside for now. Let's instead navigate the first of me through the Rizal Core merriment awaits. 
rivers of liquor and I. That was an unfortunate metaphor. Oh, please, Shara, do not make me swim. <laughs> So we're still and the friends sit about enjoying the holiday. No one else is awake yet. Setting aside their cares for a while, they slumbered peacefully and awoke as if they were come to dawn. In the morning, they brought a couple of boats and enjoyed an excursion on the lake. Noon they saw a person out with no small bit of horseplay. The evening was the perfect setting for a fishing line and letting the hours disappear. Time quickly passed by the idyllic shores of the lake. That was so much fun! It was. It feels like we've been refreshed body and soul. It's been a while since I've had this much fun without drinking. Sure, manners in the room, influences, etc. And you weren't slamming back some kind of frugal girl like a fiend while we were fishing? Oh, honey, please, something in that light doesn't count. Right, Princess Tita. Um, I think I will invoke your royal prerogative to refrain from commenting. An attention, though. Estelle, you're really good at fishing. You think so? Yeah, you are. You pulled them up one after another. It's been a hobby since she was little. Speaking of which, Kevin made quite a showing of himself, too. I noticed that. He seems to really like it. He definitely knows how to handle a rod and whatnot, that's for sure. If he's got a bit better, he might even make a good rival for me. For the love of... Not everything has to be a competition, Estelle. Hee <laughs> hee. Still though, it's a lovely evening. Ah. Hmm? What is it? Nothing. I think I need to go enjoy that lovely evening for a bit. I'll be back for dinner. I understand. Don't be too gone too late or I'll eat your portion too. I know, I know. See you guys later. Shara, don't worry, Tita. I'd like you to leave her alone for a little while, if that's okay. This is about Joshua, isn't it? Ah, a good guess. The evening was just lovely back then, too. Well, goddamn. We certainly need to remember. The boys aren't in here. The girls are in there. Can I take one of these rods? So, let's head outside. Speak to you boys. You're still. All the boys having a thing. We're gonna shop here. Because there's some roast fish and some rampage fish ready for us to learn how to do. I'm sure it'll be quite coming quite handy. Ah, what a pretty sunset. It's just like that time. Mm. The sign, the sunset, the water, it's all just like before. Everyone's having fun, but it's not really the same at all, is it? I'm hopeless, aren't I? I made up my mind and I want to chase after him at my own pace, but Mom and Joshua must be laughing at me. That's right. I did play it once during the dream. I wonder if I can do it again. Where was Kevin on that table, is what I want to know. Huh? That really was pretty, Estelle. Kevin? I came back because I was curious who was belling out the melodies. God, I it. I didn't think it would be you. Should I... I guess you do have all the... F hub Hobbies than sneaking and fishing, huh? Harmonica playing's kind of out of character for me, huh? No, not at all. It suits you. Gotta be honest, I think you're better at fishing, but 
you can just come out and tell me I'm bad. I don't even think I'm really good at this. You made a couple technical mistakes, sure. But what matters in the music is the heart. And a little performance of yours carried your heart. Trust me. Thanks. Mind if I get a little closer? Of course. Got a question I'd like to ask you. Estelle, what do you say when you meet this boyfriend of yours? Huh? From what I gathered, he left under what he might call a circumstances, heavy ones. Even if you finally catch up to him, have you thought about what you're gonna say to him after all this? I convinced myself I wasn't gonna drag him back, even if I that if I was <laughs> words, guys. I convinced myself I was going to drag him back, even if I had to pull him by the hair. But I don't think I can really do that forceful. Be do something that forceful or crazy. To be completely honest, I don't know if what I will. S Say we'll even reach Joshua. Y'all ever knowing all that? You still said I'm fine on him? Yeah. I gotta th thought a lot about Joshua's situation and my own feelings. No matter how hard I try, though the words to do with it all don't come to me when I just sit around. So I'll let the words come out when I finally meet him. What? After all, my feelings aren't mine alone, right? There's something that grew between Joshua and I when we were together. So I think. I'll only really be able to find those words once I see him again. Once we meet, our hearts will do the talking. That's why I refuse to worry about it, about that until we find him. I mean, sometimes I get a little sentimental, sure, but let's call that the lady's privilege. Oh man, I didn't. This didn't go according to the steps at all. What? Step one: Estella sentimental and down. Step two: Estella worries over a comment from me. Step three: I follow up nicely. Step four: Estella starts feeling better. Her opinion of me raises sharply because of it. C. Profit. That was the brilliant pan I was aiming for, but somehow you skipped two and three, and thus four, I think. Sorry. <laughs> You're still a good priest, Kevin. You do pay attention to people with worries like me. Ugh. Well, it's true. It's part of a priest's job. Gotta admit, I was paying attention to you for. For reasons that are more personal, Stale. Huh? What are you? Hold it, though. What now I'm. What is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like a boat's approaching, and I think someone's inside it. What? Oh shit! Kurt! God damn, I told you. I told you. Patched him up as best I can, but his wounds are pretty serious. He'll have to stay bedbound for a while. Poor Kurt. Never thought I'd see a day where Kurt gets thrashed like this. The hell happened? Kurt and his team were really close to finding society's base, but Lundgren told us. Which means Annalise and Connor and Gran and are being with... Oh no! This is bad. I called Lundgren at the Inns phone. He's contacted the other branches in the Royal Army now. But, but, things have gone wrong. Annalise and the others are... We know, we know. Don't panic. We need to get out there and do what we can. I promise, where the hell did Kurt's body float in from? That is curious. Very uh, Lake has no islands or reefs, correct? That's right, it's tremendously deep, so it must have been floated in from another shore, which could be very hard to divine precisely from which shore there. Yeah, the lake is huge. I guess we could ask the army patrol ships to help out, but... Ugh. Kurt? And this is... Stella, Gade, everyone. This is the Kingfisher Inn on the... This is the Kingfisher Inn on the Lakeshore Bows. You drifted there on the waves, you tough old goat. The Kingfisher, I see. I remember my team is tonight infiltrating the society's base, and then I, I, uh... Kurt? Don't tell me. Damn it! To have my memory stolen, not again, not once, but twice. I knew it. The society has intruded upon our minds once again. Zin, please. You should chill me like she did last time. Otherwise, everyone else will. Last time was a desperate improvisation. It won't be able to restore memories locked away by hypnosis. Besides, with your injuries, no, we cannot risk it. But in that case, let me try something. What? And you are? Calvin Graham, Growlster at Earl the Church. Think Annalise might have told you about me. Yes. Hang on a second, you can undo hypnosis. To know what I can do about nasty stuff, but this wormed its way into the subconscious, but I think I can imagine a little something if this is the kind of block on his short term memory. It doesn't seem like it'd be that long since he was hit, so. Oh, neat. This is an example of Thaumaturgy, the secret arts of the church. You might call it that. This is a. Might feel like your head's getting kicked by a mule, repeatedly. I guess you're doing. Guessing you don't care that much, though. Not at all. Please do what you can. Roll right. All right, all right, all right. In the name of she who dwells above, I do I hold you this consecrated septium. Wow, so pretty.
beauty. Silver reflection on the conscious will, black luminescence of time's flow. By your opposing natures I divest this mortal man of the ties which bind his mind. <laughs> Kurt, you okay? I think so. So much is returning, as though the mist is coming from my mind. Just the flog in the clear and remain calm and relaxed. Whatever you do, don't try to look into the darkness that lies beyond. I understand. I see what you mean by one this would be unpleasant. This is my ego, isn't it? You can tell I'm surprised. I'm proficient in meditation, remember? I'm fine. I think I can remember enough now. Really great. An impressive... Oh, an impressive technique. You really are more just than a skirt-chasing priest. Well done, Gavin. Come on, don't inflate my ego too much here. Yeah, I mean, a little sharp, but not too much. Anyway, Kurt, what do you remember exactly? Well, the society's base is on the northwestern shore of the lake. They built some kind of research facility in secret. A research facility? How, when? How did they? The northwestern part of the lake shore are sparsely populated at best. Even so, the guard ships do patrol over the area, I don't think. The facility is carefully hidden. They project a dummy image into the sky to prevent air sh aerial scouting. What? Well, that is an impressive feat. I theoretically possible, but how would you? And if you approach by land, a deep fog springs around you as you draw there. A fog? Sounds like an overland. We broke through the fog and into the facility, but then we were ambushed by a team of, pe of people calling themselves enforcers. They got us completely off guard and crushed us almost immediately. I lost consciousness not long after reaching the boat. Damn, my cowardice, abandoning Karna Grind and Annalise like that. Don't worry about it, okay? We're gonna save Annalise and all the rest. Estelle? Don't worry, Kurt. You've told us everything we need to know to kick some fools around. Yes, on top of that, I suspect we'll have some help from the Royal Army. Leave it to us. Thank you. Forgive me. Leave it in your hands. Kurt? Don't worry, Kurt. It's just his unconscious. Anyway, sounds like what we don't have time to stand around. Right. We need to get going before the army does. Estelle, I'm sure you don't need to tell you this, but... I know. This is going to be the most dangerous thing we've ever done. By a lot. You know what? I'm prepared to settle things with the society one way or another. It just happened sooner than I thought. Estelle. Well, I think that was the shortest vacation in history. Now nah, we got plenty of rest. Now it's time to gear up for the real fight. There's a problem, and a um, small army of us is going together would stand out too much. It'd be best to send a smaller group, I think. A good idea. Hey, everyone. Do you mind if I pick the team like I did back in the ruins? As as you did beneath, beneath Grand Cell, I think it's for the best. I'll happily come along. Sure, don't mind. I won't have any grudge if you don't pick me, though I do want to bust some heads. Of course, though, as you will, naturally, ask me to come along. If you need someone to who can heal injuries, I'll happily come along. I can help with the machines and stuff, I think. Thanks, guys. Sorry to spoil the fun, but, uh, do you mind picking me first, huh? From the sounds of it, Annalise and your friends are society's clothes. They've been given the same treatment as Kurt or worse? Well, you guys do exactly. Oh, a good idea? Good point. Looks like no matter what, Mr. Priest. Thank you. We should be thanking you, Kevin. Okay, let me pick the rest of the team. God damn. God damn. Who are we gonna pick? Who are we gonna pick? Who are we gonna pick? Of course we're gonna pick you. Now. Leave it to me! That feels like the good choice. Sure is quiet. Do you think we'll be able to see the beach soon or something? We should be going in the right direction. Best thing to do is just plow forward. Yes, besides, check out that moon. If this is Salt and I, you want to take a girlfriend on a date, really? Someone smell it out as ever. Do you actually have a girlfriend, Kevin? Despite what you might think, I have at least one candidate in each town on the continent. Candidate? You mean you don't have one? Come on, at least let me finish bragging. <laughs> no, Kevin, why are you out here on your own still? This is becoming kind of a big deal and you have no backup aside from us. Are the grouse sort of kind of understaffed? The situation's kind of complicated. I got dispatched here on my own at first, yeah. This stuff really hits the routing thingamajigger, though. Some of our buddies might play out here. Okay, so Grouser job is to retrieval of artifacts, right? More accurately, investigation, management, and retrieval. Retrieval usually means recovering it from someone. The church has forbidden every citizen from working on artifacts. Most nations agree to let us do our work. 
so what do you so what's with all locking down seems like a lot of effort for our machines the thing is lots and lots of different type of artifacts right nobody really knows how or when why they work yet despite they do and depending on how they use them they have absolutely crazy abilities why do you think it tends to happen that you put infinite cosmic power in the hands of your average citizen I guess but what the biggest thing is actually obsession they can resist the seduction of power and enable you to use the artifact for nothing good Seriously, always? We've seen it happen time and time again throughout history, sadly enough. Estelle, you remember Mayor Dalmo well enough to know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, it's true, Mayor Do Dalmo did seem terribly cruel when he showed his true face to us. Seems like a man who would cast aside anything we would consider a moral restraint. Holding absolute power gives people a warped sort of confidence, raises their ability to control themselves. It's the mission of the Grails Ritter to stop that before it happens. Always the prettiest and ain't always the prettiest job in the world, but really? Hey, even the Bracer Guild has stuff they can't talk about publicly, right? Ain't no different from that. Well, you've got me there. Hey, freaking land, freaking hole. Looks like it's judging from this soup. Now we've got, n now we really got no choice but to plow on ahead. Yeah, stay alert, everyone. They might want to try and ambush us. God damn. Lakeside Laboratory. Hey. Looks like we made it through. Alright, we've arrived. I don't see anyone around. Well, but... Yeah, nobody let your guard down. First thought our business, I think, is giving that building ahead of scouting out. Don't forget who we're fighting here, either. If things go south, we should get out, Prano. Good point. And I think this is a good place to say, if you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time when we head into the secret laboratory. Peace.